jump in car with Tony D'Alberto as Aaron Cameron looks to cover him off on the run down to turn number one. He defends the line towards the first turn. Will Brown will lead us in. John Martin on the outside. Oh. They're three wide. They can't do this, surely. For the lead. Familiar with. And now change of the lead at the front here with Aaron Cameron. So that's happened. Coming through the backside of the circuit. As we keep an eye on D'Alberto with Moffat squirming under brakes in the Renault Megane. We join him at the right time as he climbs the curbs. Did he get it done? I would say yes. Now, now, remember, all of these things we're just watching affect the fight for second in the championship. Tony D'Alberto was second in the points coming into today's two races because Cameron is fighting for second as well. Cameron leads the race. That's all really positive stuff for Aaron Cameron. But Aaron Cameron looking good here for his first ever victory. What a great story. Aaron Cameron gets the win in car sales TCR Australia and eyes up second place in the championship. This young man is off the back of a breakthrough win in this sport, but little time to enjoy it. You've got to focus on this incredible fight for second now. Yeah, last race of the year. Really want to round it up with another win, but uh, also the main goal, beat Tony D. Pull the pin and go for it. Pretty much, yeah. Have a crack. Hopefully it comes off. Here's the final round of the championship. Set for a start now. Can Aaron Cameron get second in the series? Will Brown with those clutch issues. Cameron's been swamped here. Cox will lead them from the Renault. Tony D'Alberto was in position 10. The last time through. Here's Ingle. Hustles out wide. That's Allen. Oh, it's all happy, isn't it? In the final race of the year. Through turn number one, Cameron about to be passed by Andre Heimgartner through turn two and three. But, but they'll be telling him, they'll be keeping him up to speed on the radio at Melbourne for Performance Centre about where his rival is. Tony Delberto in 15th. Noons? Rusty, you're exactly on the money. That's exactly what they've done at Melbourne Performance Centre. They know where Delberto is. They know that he doesn't need to fight with Heimgartner or Comte who's behind in that Peugeot. They've told him you just need to run where you are and you'll get it job done. Actron Air replay now. In car with Andre Heimgartner. That's Aaron Cameron ahead. And a triple seven. Wow. Makes the move, so that's a big change. He goes up in a fourth spot with that one. And that means that Cameron is only one place in front of Tony Delberto. Oh boy, Noons, this is building. It is. I've just ducked into Melbourne Performance Centre. Blake Smith and Troy Russell are here. I don't want to dive in. I know Blake's busy here. Is that your car, car two, that's off song? Yeah, he's reported loss of power, so at the moment, just trying to bring it home. That'll probably hand uh, P2 to Tony D, but that's the way it is. It's about his body would have had his bad luck earlier in the year, and we've got ours now. 50,000 bucks is on the line for them to finish runner-up in the series. This has been an amazing year. It's got a few twists and tails left, huh, boys? Great work, Noons. Man, our hearts sank here. Uh, here we go. So Cameron fighting fighting with Tony Delberto, but it's with one arm behind his back, as you've just heard. Delberto will get back in front. That move could be for 50 grand cash and second in the series. Can you believe it? There's Tony Delberto. What a return. After dropping as low as 15th, folks, in this race, charged his way back up and got the job done in fifth and will secure second in the series, and it's not over in the finish line. Cameron's going to lose another couple of positions because the Frenchman, Aurelien Comte, will get home for eighth. Tim Brook in ninth. Good result for the Garage One team. And Aaron Cameron limps home, but 10th place is all he can do.